Hey guys, this is Tara with Teaching on Lemon Lane, and this is a quick tutorial of how to insert an image or a GIF into your collaborative class, Haunted House. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to scroll down to one of my templates, and I'm going to use the numbered one. The numbered one is a great option if your teacher has given you a number. So we'll say that my class number is number three. So I'm going to be inserting my picture of myself in my Halloween costume or my GIF into window number three. Um, now the way that we're going to do that is notice that when I am clicking, I single click on the number that I've been assigned and that's number three. And then notice when I click on that replace image becomes an option. I'll click off just so you can see that again. Click on that, your number, replace image. So we would come up here to replace image and then we've got a couple options here. We could do upload from computer. That means that your picture or GIF has been saved to the computer. Um, Drive, this would be if your image or GIF has been saved to Google Drive, or if your device allows, you can actually use the camera option to just take a quick picture and upload it that way. So those are your options. And then when you do that, you simply select the image and then you're going to click replace and it will automatically insert it into that. In case you are doing a GIF using Screencastify, um, there's other options to do it, but I like Screencastify the best. Um, let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to walk you through that as a tutorial. Um, so let me think about how to show this. OK. So we're going to use one of the videos that I've already saved to my Screencastify, and it's actually one that I use for my Stuck in a Snow Globe project. Um, what Screencastify is, um, it's a free extension that can be added to Google Chrome really easily. So it's great for Chromebooks. It can also be used with iPads, iPhones, and other devices. But you download it, and then when you do that, you'll see this little arrow up here. This is showing that we're recording. You simply click on that, and you will do a new recording. Um, and then we're going to go to one of my pre-recorded videos and I'll show you how you can actually use them. So once you're done recording your video, I'm going to just click on this one. It's going to pull it up into this image here. Now notice this is a six second clip. Now for a GIF, you want it to be short about like five seconds. So I'm going to shorten this. And the way that I shorten it is that you see these scissors on each end. I'm going to single click and I'm going to drag it. And I could single click over here and drag it as well. And now it's showing me that what's in between is my new trim. Now be careful, you cannot go back on your trims. So make sure that it's how you want it, that it looks right, because once you click save trim, there's no going back. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save trim. It'll trim our video. Again, you want five seconds or less if you're doing a GIF. And then here's where the magic happens and it's really, really easy. Um, remember, you'll be recording yourself if you're doing a GIF um, in your Halloween costume, hopefully. And remember the background that you have, that's what will be shown on the haunted house. So you're going to want to use a plain kind of just a white wall or if you're in the classroom and you can hang up some, you know, purple paper or green paper or something fun like that. You may even choose to use props in your GIF, but just keep in mind you've got about five seconds to do some sort of action or things like that. Um, and then we're going to insert that into the haunted house. So. What I do now is I'm going to scroll over here and we need to export our video. By exporting our video, it's going to save it to our actual device. So you can do that or you could even do Google Drive. Um, I'm going to do export video because I want to save it as the GIF and it gives us this option, which is really easy. So export as a GIF. The size is great. I just keep it where it is. I go ahead and click export and then here it comes down here. So as that downloads, I'm then just going to change the file name um, just so I can find it a little bit easier. And now it's ready to download. So now I click download GIF and give that a minute. There it is. I can click on it and I'm going to change the name of it. We'll just say haunted house example or GIF. If it were yours, you could put your name on it, making it easier to find. Um, let's go back into our file. So here we go. We're going to jump back in. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Now, remember, I'm number three. So I'm going to click on my number three. I'm going to come up here to replace image. I saved it to my device. So I'm going to click on upload from computer. And there it is. There's my haunted house GIF. So I select it and then I'm going to click open. And you'll notice there's my moving picture. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Okay. 
If this seems too small to you or if it's off size, what we can do to kind of scale or crop this is double click. So I'm going to double click it. And now I'm going to use these blue corners to zoom in onto my image. Never use these middle ones right here. If you use those, it's going to distort the image. See how it's distorted that way? So always use the corners. So I'm going to click on the corner and I'm going to single click and drag and that's going to zoom it in for me. Now it's off squared. So I'm going to single click, nope, double click, single click and drag. Let's try that again single click and drag and this allows me to center it single click and drag and that's probably as great i'm going to bring it down a little bit um now i kind of have the picture of the window it's zoomed in a little bit more if i want it even more i could pull it out more and center it but essentially that is how easy it is to simply upload a gif into your haunted house you would follow the same steps if you're just doing an image um, which also makes it really easy as well if you guys have any questions with that, let me know. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.